What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Trashman Matt, and today we have a special video. Uh, today I'm going to be covering the two long track tornadoes of Northern California. Uh, these tornadoes occurred in the Sacramento Valley, Butte and Glen Counties, and the date is on May 25th, 2011. So let's get into it. Here is an urgent message from the National Weather Service for the following counties in California. Butte, Glen, and Tihema. The National Weather Service in Sacramento has issued a tornado warning for West Central Butte County in Northern California. Extreme... Okay, so right here we have a map here of what happened in 2011. So these are the confirmed tornadoes uh, in California for 2011. So quick history of tornadoes in California. Um, the average number of tornadoes is usually around 11 tornadoes. And they're usually occurring in the Sacramento San Joaquin Valleys here in the center part of the state or in the Los Angeles and Desert Basins here in the southern part of the state. Those are the two active areas. Now, most tornadoes are weak, not on the ground long, 10 minutes or less, and travel less than a mile. Obviously, this is the exception. So, or the major exception. So, these two tornadoes touched down here in Butte and Glen Counties. They were touched off by a single supercell thunderstorm. It was an isolated thunderstorm, to be exact. And it even produced another EF2 here as well. The northern tornado traveled about 21 miles, and the southern twister traveled about 26 miles. And these were both on the ground simultaneously. Yes, um, that's actually very interesting. The fact that we have one long track tornado, but it was actually two of them, and they were twins over about five miles apart produced by the same cell and it is rather interesting to see this happen but unfortunately this is a rural area and there's not really much video footage obviously we don't have storm chases out here and we did have footage from the local affiliate here um, K channel 3 kcre 3 nbc i think the, who they're a part of they had their helicopter up there and they did capture one of the tornadoes on camera but it was not one of these two tornadoes, nor was the EF2. Actually, there was another twister that touched down over here in this area. And just given the association to where it was at, at the time and date that they said, I'm going to run that video for you here in a minute, it puts it down on the ground at the same time these two were still on the ground. So, that's a stretch that it may have been three tornadoes on the ground, but it wasn't confirmed. But I do think, watching the video where it was going, in the direction it was heading, it puts it in this general vicinity. So it may have been a separate tornado, or it may have been very well been this EF2 that was dissipating and reforming. Sergeant, uh, we have a tornado on the ground. Dan Shively, live copter three. Where are you? Where is that right now? Mark, I can I can hear you uh, barely. We're looking actually over west, uh, much west of the uh, Chico Durham area. This is more over in Glen County, uh, probably not too far from the Sacramento River. I can't exactly tell where it is. These are pretty dramatic shots, but uh, this just formed a few moments ago. This is actually more west of uh, where you were talking about where that heavy activity was, uh, probably more over, uh, oh, toward the toward the Sacramento River, maybe uh, about 10 miles south of Hamilton City or so. And uh, you can see how quickly it shifts. It was down on the ground there. It looks like it's coming back up again, Mark. Yeah, Dan, with that's, uh, that's this spot right here we see on Doppler radar. That's just to the east of Highway 45. That's to the south of Durham. Uh, that is in relatively rural area. Uh, but on, uh, on my map, I'm finding a town of Dodgeland that's in that area. Do you see very much? That's this spot right here we see on Doppler radar. That's just to the east of Highway 45. That's to the south of Durham. Uh, that is in relatively rural area, uh, but on, uh, on my map, I'm finding a town of Dodgeland that's in that area. Do you see very many homes in that area, Dan? No, no, it's uh, very, very rural out here. A lot of rice paddies, and it's mostly agriculture. Uh, what uh, towns out here are more just wide spots on the road, very tiny communities, uh, some ranches, some farms, but uh, fortunately no heavy concentration of any uh, houses right here. And Dan, uh, is that uh, is that moving off to the east, southeast a little bit? It, well, it does actually looks like it's moving southeast because everything else seems to be moving in the uh, other direction. It seems to be almost counterintuitive going the opposite direction. Yeah, that kind of goes with the uh, the whole rotation that we are seeing uh, there with the, with the storm. And sometimes, uh, well, uh, Dan showing us it very clearly. What we're seeing is... Yeah, so in closing, it's inconclusive i mean i'm more confused than i am about understanding how this happened or what happened exactly i mean we have a tornado that's not on the report but it's obviously there's a video of it 
and we got no videos of these two long track tornadoes and I couldn't find any video on the EF2 as well but obviously the damage was there the damage paths were there and the Doppler radar signature is the only thing that we can go on so yeah I mean but hey California had long track tornadoes I guess scratch that off the list what happens in California <laughs> alright guys I'm Trash I'm Matt I uh, hope you found this very informative and I'll catch you guys in the next one